Hi all, good morning. So welcome back to my new uh, my YouTube channel on AG Green Angular. So today I am going to uh, make this video for you to have a basic idea of what exactly AG Grid is and what are the key features and advantages of using AG Grid. So let's start. So what is AG Grid? AG Grid is a feature-rich data grid built for Angular, React, JavaScript, and many other languages. So, what exactly it is? It is to show data in a table-like structure, that is a grid-like structure, that are that can be used in multiple languages or frameworks like Angular, React, which is a library, then JavaScript itself. It can be integrated seam uh, seamlessly in all the angular version from 2 to 8 and also in the coming and later versions as well hopefully so it can be integrated in angular 2 4 5 6 7 all the versions after angular 1 that is from version 2 onwards and ag grid is supported in all the versions and also will be and supported in the future version as well so where are these grids used extensively? So these are used in small and large scale web applications on data analytics where there is a lot of involvement of data involved. So where there is a lot of data involved in those kind of projects, especially in analytics projects, data analytics, these AG grids would be very useful. So why AG grid? Now next question is why AG grid? That will go to the next slide. So why AG Grid? I will give you. So using AG Grid, there are multiple features. The AG Grid provides us with multiple features, and, and basically these features are obviously the advantages of AG Grid as well. We'll go through one by one, and so I will explain what exactly, what all are the features, and now. And in the subsequent videos, I will explain in detail what each of them are. So I'll show you a detailed demo on all these. Okay, so the first feature that AG Grid provides is sorting. So AG Grid provides us with column level sorting. Suppose we have four rows, maybe the athlete, country, sport, date, goal something like that so we have a table consisting of data that include um, the sport the athlete name the country to which the athlete represents the number of medals he won in gold silver bronze the sum of all the three that is the total and the date in which he got the medals okay so we have these bunch of data and we are showing it in a tabular form so what if the user want to sort based on uh, the uh, athlete on alphabetic order from A to Z. Yeah, is it possible in AG Grid? Yes. AG Grid provides us with sorting either in incremental or decremental order. So let's see with an example. Okay. So this is an AG Grid. Okay. Which is a row, grouped AG Grid. So there is a country. It is grouped based on country. And we have columns like athlete, age, country, year, date, sport, number of medals won, gold medals won, silver, bronze, the sum of gold, silver, and bronze in that particular year, that's total. So it would be the sum of gold, silver, and bronze. Okay, now I'm expanding the United States here. So you can see a lot of data coming under United States. There are a lot of athletes, okay, representing United States participated in many sports. So all those data are listed below. Okay, so what if the user wants to um, sort the athletes in alphabetic order? Is it possible in the edge grid? And previously itself I said, yeah, it's possible. So at the above on the column name or the header name, if we click, it will sort it in the alphabetic order. See, it is so it is now sorted based on the alphabetic from A to Z. If we click again, it will be in the descending order, that is from Z to A. Similarly, age from lower 
to higher that is the least aged athlete is 15 and we can see the largest is of age 49 so this is the sorting that age feature is the, uh, this is the sorting feature that age grid provides now second filtering what is filtering suppose if we need only athlete whose age is maybe 15 so how we will sort we can sort obviously but what if we need only athletes whose age are 15 so what we can do we can filter it out so there is a filter icon here and I am searching for 15 so you could see here the athletes whose age are 15 only is listed down here so if you open Russia expand Russia then you can see the athletes whose age are 15 if we expand Australia it will list only the athletes whose age are 15 so this key feature might be very useful if there is huge amount of data involved so this is one of the key feature that age grid provides okay then comes row selection what exactly is selection as the name itself suggests we can select a particular row we can select at least one or more rows so the selection is based on the user requirement so if the row selection is not required then we can set it to false okay so what exactly is row selection i will show you so there you can see at the extreme left we have a checkbox so we could select this particular row now if you want to select multiple rows if that feature is in the configuration if we mention it like we can select multiple then we could so here currently we can select multiple so multiple rows so this so based on the user selection we will get an event and we can do many of the business requirements accordingly so this is the another key feature that AG grid provides us so row selection is possible in AG grid then row and column pin what exactly is row or column pin I will show you so here if you see the total column here at the right end so this is row pinning column pinning actually the column name total or the column total actually it is fixed at the right portion of the table or grid and the scroll will be applicable only to the rest of the area so if I for example if I minimize the browser okay so if you see here the scroll is applicable only to the rest of the area and the total column is static there so this is called pinning so either we can have the total pinned at the right row pinned at the right or left similarly we can have row pinning as well row pinning is possible at the top or at the bottom so this feature would be very beneficial in many of our user scenarios or scenarios that we could come across so there might be uh, business requirement like we need to have certain columns to be fixed at the left or to the right or we need to have some certain rows fixed at the top or bottom so yes AJ grid provides with AJ grid we could achieve those kind of requirements then comes row grouping what is row grouping so here we have grouped based on the country so the rows are grouped based on the countries this is a feature provided by AJ grid yes that's possible then comes the row dragging so there may be arise a scenario where we need to drag a particular row below or at the top so AG grid with AG grid it is possible so this is another feature provided by AG grid then cell editing one of the key feature that AG grid provides so if we expand this row and double click 
on a particular cell, maybe 15, and I modify the data. Yes, that is possible. The editing of data or cell level data is possible if it is enabled. Then exporting the data in that particular grid in the form of Excel or CSV files that can be shared across multiple users. So is that possible? Of course, yes. The export functionality is available in AJGrid. So I have a button here and on clicking this, I will export, I can get the export of all these in the CSV format. So if I click download, you can see the export.csv getting downloaded and I can have that data listed. In open in the Excel. So let's wait. So if you see, we have the data exported to an Excel in the form CSV. So yes, this feature is available with AJGrid. This is a cool feature to have in any of the libraries that we work on. So yes, that is available. The next feature that we come or usually require in um, a bulk or huge data environment is the lazy loading implementation. So this lazy loading, everybody would be aware of lazy loading. So only the data or the service call will be happening on based on the user selection or click or scroll. So is that feature available? Yes, obviously, yes. In AJ Grid, we have the option for lazy loading. So row grouping. So on clicking a particular group, okay, I can have a service call. So in this here, in this particular case, we have grouped we have grouped based on country okay so initially a service call at the initially on loading AJ grid there will be a single service call to get the country level details okay now if we are expanding Russia suppose if we are expanding Russia then we can have a service call to get the details corresponding to that particular country that is Russia so based on the ID or the country name we can have the data listed for Russia so there would be a micro services for each click yes these kind of features obviously is possible so on expanding each of the row group a call have, can be made and this is what we call lazy loading in AJ grid so this feature is also available in AJ grid and to add on there are many other features that I have not mentioned in the in this particular video so i will come up with new videos on each explaining the code the configuration that is required to achieve these features in ag grid so i will come up with more videos explaining all the things in detail all the key features in ag grid in detail in my upcoming video so that's for that's all for today's video thank you have a nice day don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and please share with your buddies and friends all across the world. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for your patience. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice day.